Hello there. It's good to have you with us today. We're going to talk about a very interesting subject, Vietnam Veterans Commemorative Medals for the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, and Coast Guard. The United States has a long tradition of over 200 years of commemorative medals, so let's go take a look. Hello and welcome to Veterans Medals Workshop. I'm your host Frank Foster and uh, glad to have you with us today. We have a very interesting show, something unique and different. We're going to talk about commemorative medals issued for Vietnam veterans, special aspects of this service or historical moments in Vietnam. But before we get there, let me give you just a little bit of background on commemorative medals. Basically, for almost the first 120 years of American history, or United States history, however you want to look at it, there were no official service medals, campaign medals. There was, uh, for example, in the Revolutionary War, let me look down and find the right one, Congress issued 11 commemorative medals. The first one was to General George Washington for raising the siege in Boston. It was a very nice medal. It has a bust of Washington on the front, and a nice scene of him looking over Boston Harbor. You can perhaps still get a copy of this from the Mint. Now, they were tabletop medals, just like you saw there. However, they only issued 11 medals during the Revolution, and most of them didn't arrive till five or six years after the war. But Horatio Gates received one as the victor of the Battle of Saratoga. And it didn't take General Gates very long to put a ribbon on it and hang it around his neck. So while the tabletop medals were not made for display, the veterans wanted to, especially the generals. By the uh, Mexican War, the Congressional Commemorative Medals became even larger. This is a great one of Winfield Scott, and on the back it has six different battle scenes in Boston. It's a, it's a significant medal. Uh, uh, you put it on the desk and that's about it. Now, Unusually, unusual for the moment, you just have to excuse my colloquialisms from time to time, state governments would strike special medals. Uh, the state of New York, uh, the state of South Carolina, for example, struck silver commemorative medals for each one of the Palmetto Regiment veterans. And the state of New York did the same thing. So, as of the background, there were no real medals until the Spanish-American War. Uh -huh. Except that if you see portraits of famous generals, you'll notice that they have medals on. These were society and commemorative medals that were struck to honor the service. So when you see this beautiful portrait of one of America's most famous Civil War generals and you see all the medals he has on, none of those were official government medals, they were society or commemorative medals. So it's been a long history of striking commemorative medals to recognize special events. The Vietnam War in particular, uh, well, let me go back just a moment. The First World War saw over a thousand different commemorative medals struck by every state, county, and large city to honor the returning World War I veterans. There were some commemorative medals in World War II, but not many. The British did a lot but the United States didn't. But then starting with the Vietnam War, or right after the Vietnam War, some commemorative medals started to be struck. And they really fill a very specific purpose because a lot of times the most prestigious award that an individual might have is simply a ribbon, a presidential unit citation, which is the equivalent of a distinguished service cross or a Navy cross or a meritorious service medal or the Vietnamese issued the uh, Vietnam Cross of Gallantry unit citation to everyone. It's a small ribbon with a little gold frame and uh, doesn't really signify what that experience entailed. So what we're going to do today is look at a number of the special commemorative medals that have been struck for Vietnam veterans. And I think I'll, I think you'll enjoy it. And some of them are pretty cool. Okay, let's go. What I'd like to do now is talk to you about what I consider the most interesting and the most logical of all of the Vietnam veteran commemorative medals. And the first one is the Presidential Unit Citation. 
and this shows the actual presidential unit citation that comes as a ribbon. And then the commemorative medal has a bust of George Washington with 13 stars around it. And it's a good way to put a medal into a display case that represents the presidential unit citation. The next one is the meritorious service unit citation. And here again is a very handsome medal with a star and a wreath around it to represent the meritorious unit citation. Now one award that every Vietnam veteran received was the Vietnamese Gallantry Cross Unit Citation. Uh, a lot of people don't know that, how much that stands for, but here is a great example of a Vietnam Gallantry Cross Unit Citation Commemorative Medal. So you can actually put three medals into a case to represent the unit awards if you have them. Now another very popular commemorative medal is the Combat Service Commemorative Medal. While the Combat Infantryman received the Combat Infantry Badge, the Combat Action Badge had not yet been established and it's not been retrogradedly awarded to Vietnam. But the engineers, the artillerymen, the armor, the cav, all of those men were involved in combat. And not only that, but so were a lot of the transportation guys, ordnance guys, aviation, you name it. <laughs> you might have a 122 millimeter rocket fall on you. It doesn't matter where you are, Benoit or else. So this is a very nice commemorative medal. It represents the fact that the veteran was in combat action. And then, for those of us who had the pleasure of being there in 67 and 68 during Tet, that's almost the Vietnam equivalent of the Battle of the Bulge. And although the Army, Air Force, Navy, and Marine units destroyed the Viet Minh and the North Vietnamese regulars that attacked during Tet, it wasn't given the same honor of victory that the Battle of the Bulge was. But here is a medal of which all of the men and women who fought in Tet can proudly display in their awards case. And then, of course, Perhaps one medal that almost every veteran is very proud to have would be an honorable discharge medal. And so this is an example of six commemorative medals that I think you might find very interesting if you're a Vietnam veteran. Let me give you some examples of that. Here's a nice example of a combat infantryman from the 25th Tropical Lightning Division. And you can see he has his combat infantry badge proudly displayed. He's also received the Meritorious Unit Citation and the Vietnamese Gallantry Cross Unit Citation. And he chose to display them a little more prominently and meaningfully by having the Commemorative Medal for the Meritorious Unit Citation and the Vietnamese Gallantry Cross Unit Citation Commemorative Medal displayed in his row of medals. And it looks very nice and it puts a little more emphasis, emphasis puts a little more emphasis and value on these two awards. Here's a nice display of a young Marine that served in the 1st Marine Division, and he proudly displays his ribbons with his combat action ribbon. But what he's chosen to do is with his National Defense Service Medal, his Vietnam Campaign Medal, his Vietnamese Campaign Medal, he has added the Combat Action Commemorative Medal that represents probably the most prestigious of all the awards he'll ever have, the Combat Action Ribbon. And it looks very nice there, and it's a handsome and dramatic medal. Uh, adds a real, I'd say, punch up to his display. And just one medal, that's all he needed. Here's a nice display of a young soldier who served in the radio research unit of the Army Security Agency. Hey, we were all young soldiers back then. He has his official medals across the top, his Good Conduct Medal, his National Defense Medal, his Vietnam Service Medal with two campaign stars, and his Vietnamese Campaign Medal. On the bottom row, he's used four commemorative medals. One to show combat service. This is a very handsome commemorative medal. He has another commemorative medal that represents his meritorious unit citation. And then he has the Tet commemorative medal to show that he was there during Tet. 1967 and 68. And he has the Vietnamese, uh, Vietnamese Cross of Gallantry Unit Citation Commemorative Medal to represent his Vietnamese Cross of Gallantry Unit Citation. 
sort of nice use of commemorative medals to acknowledge and represent moments and special achievements during his tour in Vietnam. <laughs> Quick commercial, if you're enjoying these shows, please give us a like and even better subscribe. It really, really helps keep us on the air. All right, back to the show. And we'll take a look at a couple of examples of the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine Corps. And here's a good example of an Army aviator who added to his case four commemorative medals, a combat service medal, which is just after his Vietnamese campaign medal, and the Presidential Unit Citation Commemorative Medal, the Meritorious Unit Citation Commemorative Medal, and the Vietnamese Cross of Gallantry Commemorative Medal, a really handsome addition. And the medal display case looks very nice up on the wall in his library. Four very popular Army Commemorative Medals are the United States Army Commemorative, the Combat Service Commemorative, the Tet Commemorative for 67-68 Tet Offensive, and the Airborne and Air Assault Commemorative for all those troopers who got to ride into a hot LZ. Six very popular Navy and Marine Corps Commemorative Medals are shown here. Starting on your left is an Anodized Combat Action Ribbon Commemorative Medal. And then to the right of it is the Navy and Marine Corps Presidential Unit Citation Commemorative Medal. And to the right of that is the same example but gold-plated or anodized. And then there's a Navy and Marine Corps Unit Combination Commemorative Medal. That's very handsome with the crossed anchors. And then there is the Vietnamese Cross of Gallantry Unit Citation Commemorative Medal. And then to the right of that is a medal which a lot of Marines received as a ribbon the RVN Civic Action Unit Citation, and this is a very nice commemorative medal. Here's a very nice example of a petty officer using three commemorative medals to go with his decorations and service medals from Vietnam. He's added the Combat Action Commemorative Medal, the Republic of Vietnam Gallantry Cross Unit Citation Commemorative Medal, and the Vietnam Service Commemorative Medal. This former bosun's mate adds a couple of neat commemorative medals to his official decorations. Down in the right-hand corner is a Navy unique shellback commemorative medal. You have to have been a shellback to know what it really means. And then, to commemorate being a scuba diver, he added a Navy commemorative medal as his final display. This former Marine sergeant added four commemorative medals to his display to round it out. The first, uh, starting on the bottom row, is the Combat Action Commemorative Medal, and then to the right of that is the Navy and Marine Corps Presidential Unit Citation Commemorative Medal, the Navy and Marine Corps Unit Commendation Commemorative Medal, and the Vietnam Gallantry Cross Unit Commendation Medal. A really nice display. Three popular Air Force Commemorative Medals are shown here. The United States Air Force Commemorative Medal, then the Air Combat Action Commemorative Medal, and then two examples of the honorable discharge, one anodized or gold-plated, and the other struck in the standard brass format. This Air Force veteran uses a number of commemorative medals to remember his service in the Air Force. Starting in the lower left is the Combat Service Commemorative, followed by the Presidential Unit Citation Commemorative Medal, and then the Air Force Outstanding Unit Commemorative Medal, the American Defense Commemorative Medal, the Vietnam Service or Defense Commemorative Medal, the Cold War Victory Commemorative Medal, a very important one, Overseas Service, and several others. This Air Force Vietnam veteran added five commemorative medals for his display, and it turned out very nicely. Starting uh, just to the right of the Vietnamese campaign medal is the American Defense Commemorative, then the Vietnam Defense Commemorative, the Overseas Service Commemorative, the Air Force Service Commemorative, and the Honorable Discharge Commemorative Medal. A really nice display. One question that always comes up is, do the commemorative medals come in miniature format? And the answer is yes, of course they do, in both bronze and anodized or gold-plated. We only looked at a few of the many Vietnam commemorative medals that are available both in full-size and in miniature, but it gives you a taste of what's out there. 
I would like to point out that commemorative medals and ribbons are not authorized on the official uniform. They are for display or for wear at veterans' events. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed presenting it to you. And don't forget, we have all kinds of other great shows on Veterans Medals Workshop, and I hope you'll look at them. And by the way, if you enjoy this, please give us a like, even better subscribe, it'll keep us on the air. Until next time, thanks for joining us at Veterans Medals Workshop. <laughs> See you later.